O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. It'd be nice if uh, folks did communicate with clarity, for sure. Communicate with others as clearly as you can be to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans would communicate with impeccability of the word, all the relationships would change. There'd be no walls, no violence, and no misunderstandings. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 306, NASDAQ up 74, SP's up 28, gold contract up $23, trading 1706 an ounce. We get silver up 45 cents, $17.93 an ounce. Late sweet crude down a buck 40, $38.16 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year up seven ticks, trading 137.10. The 30 year up 14 at 172.30 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 294 ticks, trading 96. 644. The euro is at 113. The yen is out here at 108.32. And the British pounds at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? And you get another day. You get another dollar. You get another high inside the SPY. SPY right now trading at 328. 176. Your high out there on Friday was at 321.27. Uh, Bottom line is that uh, this thing just keeps clawing higher. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. That was weak out there this morning. Made the comeback. Uh, the Q's right now at an all-time high. We're up a dollar. You're at 240.71. We hit 241.03. And the last all-time high, folks, before COVID-19 was on the 29th of February, that high was established at 237.47, and right now, uh, bottom line, you're $3.45 uh, above that number. Small caps, what do you get with the small caps? Get a couple questions on the small caps, the IWM. Bottom line is that, uh, you know, yeah, you're going up to the swing point of here, that 154.20, uh, which was established on the 3rd. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see whether it can make it through it. What has happened, and this is the only indice that this has happened to, folks, uh, the bottom line is that the small caps never reached its high. The, so the high in the small caps was established in August of 2018. That number was 173.39 inside the IWM. When we went back up in, in the February time frame, actually it was January in the small caps, it was 170.55. So first one was 173, next one was 170. The small caps are going to be the one you absolutely want to watch because what you do have here is that, okay, if that can't make the high again this time, that's a big heads up that uh, the small caps have been broadcasting for quite some time that they continue to want lower price after an amazing bounce. Gold, gold contract out here. They slammed that baby down on Friday, never broke the swing point. That being said, uh, bottom line, gold up 23 bucks. Gold still in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Your swing point up here is 1789. That ABC structure has a price projection of uh, 1821, 1821 to 1825. Silver, now silver didn't get as hit as hard last week as gold did. Uh, bottom line, it came down. Uh, you know, went from a price point of uh, $18.90 to 1735. That being said, uh, didn't get back to its breakout area. But silver, you know, basically started taken off like a rocket ship at 15.16. Uh, bottom line, silver wants to get up into this $19 to $20 to $20 mark. We go over to the bonds, different situation inside the bond market. Bond market, bottom line, we're at 137.11. What bonds did last week is that they broke their consolidation, broke it with force also. Uh, these bonds want lower price, higher yield. Right now, inside the 10-year, we are yielding a 0.87. Last week, we went from a 0.65 to a 0.90. So percentage-wise, that was one big monster move. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar, folks, making its way down to the lowest swing point from the March 9th area 
Uh, King Dollar, you know, very well, the way the King Dollar is trading, I mean, this thing might just blow this thing away. This could have just set up a small ABC structure on the way down. If we go look at the culprits, which are bringing King Dollar down, where they're buying, they're buying into the euro. The euro rejected lower price today at 112. You're at 113. And the British pound. Uh, bottom line, British pound also took off uh, last couple of weeks out here. That's trading 127 right now. And that broke its consolidation. British pound is on its way up to this uh, 132 area. In fact, you can make the case. Let me look at this. 126, 114, 12. That's still 132. Interesting. So 132 is the number. If you, if you do this, folks, on an ABC, a to B equals C to D, you got 132, and the swing point's 132. So bottom line, we're going up to that 132 mark. And then I'm going to take this king dollar just for a second, and we're going to, I'm going to put this on a continuous contract because I believe the way this is set up right now, let me pull this back five years. Okay, so I know we'll do, put this on a monthly. Okay, so we get this on a monthly. Okay, so yeah, 94 is the level. It wants to go to 94. Real question if, it's, if it breaks the 94, then you get game into 88. That's going to be, that would be, be quite a move if that's where good old King Dollar wants to go. Yeah, we did. Actually, you know what's interesting here? We actually broke, we, King Dollar wants to go to 88. We actually broke, we broke the trend up town uh, and I, I love it when we break a trend like this what I mean specifically is this folks you get a trend going higher what we did is that the first time we broke the trend was um, in March this on a monthly then you jumped above it again and then it failed again and you get right below it that is a nice break meaning that you broke it then you had a false break downtown you go uptown again you last for two months and then Bang! You break it again. That is saying a good old King Dollar wants to go to 88. We get King Dollar at 88, folks. You are going to see the gold contract go to uh, all-time highs. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow Industrials up 310, Nasdaq up 73, S&P's up 29. We'll come right back.